DeepAgent just launched a brand new coding agent called DeepAgent Desktop that outperforms both Claude Code and GPT-5. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to use this tool, a bunch of crazy use cases that you could use it for, and so much more. Because if you're doing anything coding with AI, you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Okay, so when it comes to actually using this tool, it's incredibly easy to get started. You're literally just going to log into Abacus AI. Now you're gonna see this right here, new DeepAgent Desktop. You're gonna click on this, and then this is gonna prompt you to actually download this onto your computer and then you're going to get deep agents new desktop mode and this right here is absolutely insane because it has two different modes here the first mode is going to be coding mode which is an end-to-end -end ai coding agent in your terminal and this allows you to run deep agent cli which is one of the top three benchmark scores it allows you to use browser agent and refactor slash debug code incredibly quickly and it has real-time error detection and fixes or they have chat mode which is recommended for non-coders so basically this new coding agent is good whether you're a developer or whether you're a non-coder Code mode is going to be more for developers, and then chat mode allows you to talk directly with the latest AI models, for example, GPT-5, Sonnet 4, and more, and it allows you to ask questions or brainstorm ideas, it gives light coding support when you need it, and it gives you quick feedback and explanations. And then from here, you'll be able to see exactly what this actually looks like. We could see right here that we could go into Deep Agent Editor, and we could click into this and be able to access all this from right here, or if we go back by clicking on chat mode up here, you will be able to come over here and chat with it and then go to Deep Agent CLI all from inside of the same exact tool. And you only need one system for all this, where in the past you needed multiple systems for this. And you can come down here and you can tap between any model that you want. Now, like I shared with you earlier, Deep Agent CLI tops both Claude Code and Codex on the terminal benchmarks. We can see right here, it's at a 48.75, and then Claude is going to be at 43.2%, and Codex CLI, aka GPT-5, is at 42.8%. In addition to that, it also tops them on the SWE benchmark. We can see that Deep Agent Desktop is at 74%, Codex is at 72.8%, and then Claude Code is going to be anywhere from 62 to 72 percent depending on which model you're using. Now here's what this actually allows us to do. It allows us to come into Deep Agent CLI and say things like this, build a quick snake web game with gamified badges and awards based on different levels slash scores in the game. In addition to that, the game UI should be thematic to 90s Nintendo games and should be visually appealing and top-notch and seamless in its interaction. And then we literally just ask it to do that, and this is going to spin this up, and this is going to build this out incredibly quickly, in fact, quicker than I've ever seen any tool actually build this out. And then from here, we can actually test the game right inside of here after it shows us how to actually play it. And we see that it has all this interaction and this is a way better retro snake game than I've ever seen any other AI coder actually build out. In fact, most of them that you would ask to build this out would probably fail at doing this. In fact, to test this out, I wanna put this prompt into another tool. So let's actually bring this over into Claude. We're going to give this the same exact prompt here, and then let's see how well this does at actually designing it. Because we saw what Deep Agent Desktop did, which is absolutely incredible, and the most important thing that I saw was that the UI looked awesome, but then also that it had seamless interaction and that it had different awards that were popping up. If you noted, there were different awards that popped up depending on different things that happened. For example, reaching a new level, Level, reaching a new score, things like that. And that's quite dynamic compared to what I've seen any other AI coder actually do when it builds these types of things out. For example, we're putting this in Claude right here. We could see that this is building this out as quickly as possible, but let's see if the interaction and the use case it's actually the same. Now, one thing that I will say is this is still going through and coding this out. And quite frankly, this has been incredibly slow. I've been sitting here now for like several minutes and this still isn't done. So Deep Agent Desktop did this way quicker than Claude is currently doing this. Okay, so now that this is finally done, we could go through here and see all of the different things here. For example, the design, the gameplay, exactly how to play it. And let's come over here and actually play this. So we're gonna click on start game right here and we are going to go through. Now I will warn you, I am terrible at this game but let's actually see if we are able to see all these different dynamic things that should be popping up here. So I haven't seen anything dynamic pop up yet. 
but we will keep going here. Boom. Okay. Let's see if we get that. Okay. Okay. So I did just see something dynamic pop up, but it was down here. It was really quick. It was really slow. It wasn't as good. It wasn't as big as what Deep Agent Desktop did. In addition to that, I would say that this isn't super retro the same exact way that Deep Agents was. I actually think that it understand both the functionality and the UI way better than this. Now, before I get into the rest of the use cases that you can use this tool for that only keep getting crazier and crazier, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below to get started with Deep Agent Desktop today for only $10 a month. And not only do you get access to the best coding AI agent, you also get access to Chat LLM, which lets you access every single LLM. I'm talking about GPT, Claude, Grok, Gemini, all of them from one dashboard. In addition to that, you also get access to Deep Agent, which allows you to build out things like apps, short form videos, and so much more. So signing up for this tool is an absolute no brainer. I had to go to the pin comment below and get started with it today. But this tool isn't only good for building out games, you can also build out something like a personal website. For example, if we come over here and open this up and then put my resume in here and then say, please read my resume and create a modern personal website for me, this will actually run off and this will be able to read your resume by accessing your files and then build you out a personal website like this incredibly easily and you could see all the code, all the files and everything that it used in order to actually do this and you can see it do this in real time. And now look at this. This literally went through, built us out a personal website in just a few seconds. And I want you to think about all the different capabilities for this, because this isn't just building out something like a personal website. You could have this build out reports for you. You can have this build out dashboards. You could have this make anything that currently exists right now as a PDF or a CSV or a photo in your computer into something interactive that's incredibly useful without you being an expert at coding. Or maybe you wanted to build on some code that already exists. For example, you come into Deep Agent Desktop CLI and you could say something like this repo is a writer's community website where users can share posts to the community while learning novel writing. I want you to add in leaderboard functionality in the app based on the engagement on any user's posts and then give more priority to recency, hashtag comments, and then hashtag likes and counting overall engagement. Now what this is going to do is this is going to access your repo for this website and then it is going to build out the code that needs to be inserted in order to add in this new functionality. And then this will actually run off and do everything that needs to be done in order to get that to happen. And we could track all of this right in here, which is pretty awesome. We could see the engagement tracking system. We could see that that was added in. We could see that the leaderboard scoring algorithm was created. The user interface components were created. Engagement features were added in. And this is literally like having a human go through and code this out. You could see in real time and they're reporting back to you. And then we can actually look at the website right here and we could see that it added in this leaderboard feature that we could see over here when we come in, we log in, and we begin to interact with things. We can now see all the different leaderboards here for different topics, different structures, and we can see that this is going to be coming now. Now there still is one other thing I have to show you in order to prove to you that this is the best AI coding assistant. You can see that we've already had to go through and build things from scratch. We had to build out that game earlier and I even compared it to what Claude created and you could see very clearly that this created something that was better. In addition to that, we had this go through and actually build out additional functionality and additional features on a website that already existed, but can this thing actually go through and help us edit websites that we have. So we could come over here and say something like this. Hi, please help me change the name from Chris Morgan to Alex Yo on our portfolio website. And then guess what? This can go off and this can actually do this. And that's exactly what we're going to see here now. We see that this goes through, it accesses the code, it goes through, it changes what needs to be changed very quickly, it went through and actually updated this website. The final thing that I wanted to show off here is how you could actually use this in order to chat with it. So if you don't want it to code, you could just sit here and chat with it again, which is way better than using 
other AI coding assistants or even other vibe coding tools because other vibe coding tools, when you ask it questions like this, it's going to eat up your credits, but with this, it doesn't. For example, we could say something like, hi, could you look for the most popular open source GitHub repos for games? And can you give me step-by-step -step instructions for how to run it on my local? So this will actually go to searches for you and then explain to you exactly what you could do in order to make things happen if you're somebody that's not super technical. Then we can see that this is going to go off. This is going to go through the different LOMs that it should do this with. It's going through, it's searching, it's giving us those popular games on GitHub right here. And then this is going to go through and tell us exactly how we could get started with each of these. And we can actually ask this follow-up questions like, can it give us a roadmap on how to actually do something? And then we could see that it uses GPT-5 here. So it used Sonnet at first in order to do the search. And then it used GPT-5 to answer this question. And then as we can see here, this is actually going through and it changed changing the model that it's using depending on our question. And what this does is actually gives us a better answer because I'm sure as you've figured out already using AI tools that not all models are created equal depending on what you're actually looking for. But with this tool, it will actually source through them for you manually so that you're not having to go into Claude and then into ChatGPT in order to actually get the best response for whatever you're trying to do. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you another new AI tool that allows you to build out automations even if you don't know how to code or know nothing about automating things with AI. I'll see you over there.